to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tat and I share my work journey and anything under the sun. Today, I decided to do another sit-down video for you guys and for future friends to know me, my journey, and how I ended up working in a BPO company. Before we start, I would like to say Thank you guys for subscribing and for posting your comments and suggestions. I love reading them all. Thank you, thank you so much. My coffee is ready and the set of questions that I've prepared. Feel free to pause this video to grab some coffee, snacks, or drinks. This won't be long, but I want you all to be comfy there. Are you ready? Let's get the ball rolling. So, I'm 30 years old. My zodiac sign is Saji. I live in the Philippines, Cebu province, and I am engaged. I don't have kids as of the moment, but I am a fur mom. I have a cat and a dog. Smoky and cloudy. I love reading thriller books, but I'm not a fan of watching them alone. I am brave when I'm reading it, but not watching it. I am an undergrad. I took a bachelor's in science and nursing, but up until second year college only. I can't think of any. Well, it actually depends on my mood because I'm not a picky eater. I eat any food. One reason I can think of is the way that my father trained me when I was young. He would always say to eat what is on the dining table we are lucky to have food to eat and there are lots of families and kids who have nothing to eat and that has been instilled in my mind up to now so this is quite long okay so my family was struggling financially when my father lost his job due to stroke mama was just a housewife back then and our income was just coming from our multicab, Papa would drive at night and Mama would collect the money or the fare. She can't leave Papa alone because aside from my father's stiff neck, Mama needs to monitor his BP so she will carry a BP apparatus all the time. I was a scholar way back in college but we can't keep up the bills because the school fee is not 100% free and i remember every exam i would go to the accounting office with a promissory note with me and so one day one of my friends invited me to apply in e-performax together with her classmate because she knows my status so they tagged me along I prepared a simple resume and took the interview. It was just a one-day process and I passed. But the other two didn't. And so they left me alone in the home. And at the time, I was not familiar with the transport, the jeeps, where to ride, what to ride, etc. I stayed in Ypres for six months. But I was not able to pass one of the metrics, so I leave and applied in Converges, which is now known as Concentrics. And the rest is history. By the way, I'll do my best to create another video on my CNX journey. Um, since I didn't knew we have a suggestion and questions about Concentrics from one of our friends. Um, I really know deep inside me that I'm not a creative person. I can't draw. My handwriting is bad. I cannot decorate my room. I'm not a fashionista, etc. 
but I want to prove to myself that even if I'm not born with that talent, I can still be creative in different ways. And I feel that there is a tiny bit of creativity in me that just needs to flourish with hard work and dedication. After watching tons of YouTube videos, I believe that YouTube and Insta are the perfect platforms for, platforms for it. So, here I am. Everything happens for a reason. You may not see it now, but you will in God's perfect time. Thank you so much for clicking and watching. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I know most of you watching are not yet part of this little friendship circle. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It will greatly help my channel. Let me know what type of video you want to see. Sit down vids like this or silent vlogs, daily work, routine, etc. I'll be glad to make that happen. My YouTube channel is a continuous journey which I'm excited where it's gonna take me. I'll see you on my next video. All the best and take care. Bye!